here you have these two conducting conducting sections if this charge is lambda it will induce another charge minus lambda here the total charge was charge per unit length was 2 lambda so on the outer surface i would have 3 lambda applying suitably gauss law at an external point the field shall only be because of 3 lambda because these two would contribute a zero fold outside <coughs> and that field happens to be 2k 3 lambda by r radially outwards had it been a point inside here somewhere the field is contributed only by this lambda because this uniform shell gives a uh, structure gives a zero field inside and so does 3 lambda so for a point inside the field is to be 2k lambda by r being positive again r cap radially outwards okay consider the field region shown as the particle is projected it turns and comes out like this this being the deviation now the value of momentum that they want is to be calculated by keeping in fact that this be becomes some circular arc of which the center will be here because once it enters the force was to be on this line using the relation v cross b even being on this part as it comes out this has to be perpendicular so once these two are produced they are supposed to meet somewhere here now if this is angle d i do this construction this was supposed to be d this is the radius of that circular arc so i have sin theta equals to d by r or which is also equal to d by p by qb thus sin theta equals to d cube b by p which happens to be <coughs> the momentum now if this distance d is greater than 2r another thing happens and that is the charged particle would turn back well this would also be the instant when the change in momentum be the maximum because there is being no change in the speed so if it enters with p the momentum p turns back the change in momentum would be 2p this is the case when d is greater than radius that is d is greater than p by qb this is a standard question on rolling so draw the fbds the rod here is being pulled by some amount of force friction acts here and here remember this is to be static friction similarly for the discs you can draw for one of the discs this friction happens to act in the forward direction another friction from floor let's say f1 acts in the backward direction <coughs> if you say the acceleration for the center of mass of this body is ac it rotates with alpha we would have equations as f minus f1 is equal to mass into acceleration similarly applying the torque equation you have fr minus f1r is equal to i into alpha for the rod capital f minus 2f is equal to mass of the rod and the acceleration of the rod <coughs> beyond this you have the constraint equations which try to relate them the constraint relations would be the slowest point is supposed to be at relative rest with respect to ground thus the 
constraint down here would be AC equals to R alpha. For this particular point, it is going ahead with AC plus R alpha. At the same time, let's say the rod was accelerating with AR. These accelerations here and here are supposed to be equal. With these five equations, you can find the various unknowns, getting you the final answer.